me, Chester. The days may be hot outside, but we're getting nice and cool and learning fun things too. We're back into science again with a new science place. It's the Science Museum of Minnesota. Yay! The Science Museum of Minnesota is on the banks of the Mississippi River in St. Paul, one of the two Twin Cities. Here, there is a 10,000 square foot gallery for temporary exhibits, five permanent galleries, and 10 acres of outdoor exhibits. These galleries include dinosaurs and fossils, experimentation, the human body, the Mississippi River, and many more things! Let's go take a look around! is the Mississippi River, which provides history and a study of the environment of, you guessed it, the Mississippi River. This has a collector's corner to bring in actual natural objects that you might discover in your own backyard, and you can trade them for the museum's collection of fossils, minerals, or bones. And also, there's the Charles E. Towboat, a real boat that's now resting on the third floor of the museum. driving a boat on the roof of a building. up is my personal favorite, the Science Museum's Questionable Medical Devices. These are a series of real medical devices that were used way in the past to try and convince people of miracle cures that could cure things physically and emotionally. Of course, now a lot of this seems really silly, but it's important to keep in mind how easy it is to fall for something that might not actually work or how something that was good, when originally introduced, could be discovered to be not so useful in the future. But whether or not they actually worked, they sure are a lot of fun to test out here at the museum, and they've got lots of different devices that you can take a crack at. Am I crazy? I think your head's too small. Yeah, why don't you try it? Way to go. Uh-oh. Very fashionable. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> How does that look? What does this do? Um, supposedly, you get inside and the uh, not real substance called organ is supposed to make you feel invigorated. Okay, let's do it. Do you feel invigorated? No. I feel claustrophobic. It's dark in here!
next to the questionable devices is the human body exhibit. Wait, why just humans? Why not dogs? <sighs> oh, fine. This exhibit demonstrates the basic functions of the human body and how diseases and viruses can easily spread if people aren't careful. This area also has a perception theater show, a real Egyptian mummy, and a cell lab for kids to test out being a scientist working with human cells and figuring out how to stop diseases. Wait, what do you mean I can't go into the cell lab because I'm a dog? Aw, man. Feel the artery, grasp the tube. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. The giant hand, smash nail. Oh, gross. <laughs> The experiment gallery covers a lot between other big exhibits. This is the place to get hands on or paws on and test out your experimentation skills to see what you can create. One of my favorite experiments was that spinning tornado and also the giant fan. That was really cool. Also, next to this gallery space, is an area filled with lots of dinosaur fossils with full skeletons of dinosaurs like the Triceratops, the Allosaurus, and the Diplodocus. Mmm, mmm. Look at all those bones. Mmm. Boy, that's making me hungry. Are we in sepia right now? No, this is natural. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Boy, who knew that sports had so much science? In the Sportstology exhibit, you get to discover the science behind the sports and find out how professional athletes are able to keep at peak performance, as well as test out your own sports skills. Along with these great exhibits, the Science Museum of Minnesota also has an IMAX theater and a large temporary exhibit. Right now, the temporary exhibit is holding the science of Pixar. So get a chance to go down before the end of the Labor Day weekend. If you want more info on the Science Museum of Minnesota, go ahead and click on the link below. This is Chester D. Myers having a blast with science.